Hi, welcome to another edition of Pauline Interviews. I'm here in Newburgh today. I'm at a place called the Crystal Cross Roads, and I was so excited to discover it because I love crystals and I don't have to go way out to find them now. And I'm standing here with the proprietor, D. Ellen Hardy, and I'm going to just talk to her briefly about her shop. D. Ellen, when did you open your shop? Um, our original shop we opened in 2016, and originally we were in downtown Newburgh. Oh, you were? How long were you? I never discovered you. Where were you? Uh, we were right across from Aichi Sushi by Dairy Queen at the other end of town. So. And what are your hours here? We are 10 to 6, uh, Tuesday through Saturday. And, okay, Tuesday, you answered that question yeah. for me. <laughs> and um, tell me a little bit about your shop, what you have to, off what you have to offer here, and... Um, and people will be able to see it. We'll take some, we'll, we'll see what you've got here. Yeah. So we specialize in alternative self-care. Uh, we sell things like crystals, uh, bath salts, Epsom, or excuse me, bath bombs, Epsom salts, <laughs> um, gemstone jewelry, essential oils, herbs, incense. So just kind of a wide variety of things. I'm glad to hear that because I have a lot of topics to interview you in the future. <laughs> now, I notice you also have a sheet here and you do have um, people come and talk. To, if you can tell me briefly a little bit about the people that might come here and do, you have a room in the back and you do like lectures and tell us about that. Um, we have a Reiki share that we do once a month, um, our healing circle. And we also have readers that come on Saturdays. I have a girl that comes on Thursdays and just a really wide variety. So we have mediums, we have tarot readers, we have oracle readers, we have psychic healers. So just kind of a broad spectrum of people. <laughs> Tell me how you got into this. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I think I was just always kind of into it. Um, probably more in the last five years or so. But, um, yeah, I don't even know when I started. <laughs> so. Well, I'm going to give you the microphone, and Phil and I are going to walk around your shop. And while you see us walking, you can tell us what we're looking at. So I'm going to give you the mic, and you tell us a little bit about what we're seeing. Okay. okay. So these are jewelry grade cabochons. Uh, we order them out of India, and they're all hand cut and hand polished from Center Stone, um, and they sell by the gram. That's probably one of our more popular items in the shop. And then down to the left, we have our Herkimer diamonds, and we do have a source directly from the mine that we buy from, and those are literally straight from the earth. They haven't been cut or polished or anything. It's just how they come out of the ground. We also have a large collection of different specimens. So, and you can see I separate them all by chakra color <laughs> there. And it's always changing. We have a lot of different wholesalers that we work with. So we're always getting new stuff in. Um, not a lot of duplicate items. So, oh, you found our rose quartz <laughs> and our fairy stones. And then also those larger crystals are for sale too. Um, those are harlequin quartz or hematoid quartz. We think uh, they'd probably look best at like a hotel or a restaurant. And then straight above there, this painting is from Sefa Nisbet and she is a local artist out of McMinnville. Um, she came in and did a painting class with us and she leaves pieces for us. Um, so our resin art, so that's by Everything AJ's here in Newburgh and she actually does classes out of our shop um, but she teaches you how to make it so you can make your own and take it home with you at the end of the day and it is a two-day workshop. So the handmade soaps, um, the bath bombs and uh, the bath salts, I actually make all of those. And my soap, as you can see, is in the chakra theme. And then each one does have a natural loofah inside of it. And then I also put together um, these fun little grid and intention kits. So that one there is for evoking love. And it comes with everything that you need. So it's candles and palo santo, uh, rose quartz and amethyst. So those are abalone shells that we get out of California uh, from our wholesaler that's actually in Ashland. And I do know that they're all responsibly harvested. And tapestries, we order all of our tapestries out of India. And we have a very wide selection of sizes and colors and shapes. 
so probably something for everybody. And our herbs. Um, I can pretty much get any herb that you could think of. Um, I keep in stock all of the more popular ones, but I do take requests on those also. And then this is our candle selection. Um, I my candles do go seasonally so you'll see um, right now we're coming into our summer scents our sunflowers and sands and whatnot and then we do of course keep our Reiki candles and um, our pillars and votives then these are our chime candles and they're intended to burn a shorter amount of time usually about an hour and a half to two hours each and then we do um we normally have a bigger selection of books and cards but we're a little low right now um, but i'm always switching up and getting new things in and then these are our essential oils so the top ones here are the wild berry which is a fragrance oil and then um, down below you'll see um, some of our oil sprays and these are put together by Ash over at Breathe here in Newburgh. And then down below is our therapeutic oils. And I get all of those through healing solutions um, out of Washington. And then these are our favorite incense. Um, so it's the Satya brand and we pretty much have the whole collection. <laughs> I think there is a couple more I need to find still, but um, and then we have the cones and we have the sticks also. We're going to uh, you take care of some customers while we're looking at your stones here. You've got so many. They're beautiful. It's amazing. Got some beautiful stones over here and jewelry and wow. Iron pyrite, fool's gold. It's cool. All kinds of beautiful crystals. And look what she does with the shells. That's beautiful. Really nice. Some really nice jewelry. Looks like made out of stones. I wouldn't mind going home with one of these. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> really nice. Here we got some more jewelry. All kinds of jewelry. Oh, this looks like sage. That's, I believe, for um, clearing bad energy out of the room. So that's cool. Oh, I know what these are. These are dream catchers. I'm not sure what they do, but I guess they catch your dreams at night. <laughs> some more jewelry here. And um, looks like this is a popular place. We got some customers, right? <laughs> this is great. Thank you, D. Ellen, so much. I'll let you say goodbye, and we'll talk again. Yes. Thank you from the Crystal Crossroads in Newburgh. Yes, thank, thank you, you for coming out. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching another edition of Pauline Interviews. We'll see you again soon, I hope. And if you like the show, please subscribe and tell your friends about us, too. Thank you.